So my name is Mr Sumner. I'm the head of department for religious education at St John Henry Newman School in Carlisle, the school that you will be joining in September. And so a very warm welcome to you from the RE department. We're going to introduce who is in the department and say a little bit about what we do. First of all, there's myself, Mr Sumner. I'm the head of department. In the department also teaching is Mrs Macarie. She is one of our assistant heads in the school. We have Mrs Radcliffe. She looks after our Key Stage 3 curriculum. We have Miss Lowry. She look, is the head of history and also looks after our Key Stage 4 com, uh, curriculum. And then we also have Miss Blackwood, who teaches RE with us. So a very warm welcome from each of us and uh, the, the five of us will be teaching RE in September and so you'll come across us in the school. RE at St John Henry Newman School is a core subject, that means we sit alongside Maths, English and Science at the very heart of the curriculum to help us make sense of uh, what's, what's going on around us and within us. And so this subject helps you to think about some of the big questions in life, such as where did the world come from? Does God exist? Who is Jesus and why is he important? Why does evil and suffering happen? Is there a spiritual world beyond the physical world? What does it mean to love as a human being? What do other world faiths believe and teach about the reality of our lives? How does science help us in our search for God? Because some people think that you can't believe in science and in God. We would argue that you can, but they go hand in hand. And how do we make sense, or how do we make ethical decisions rather, uh, especially in difficult circumstances? So at our school, we believe that God exists. We believe that he shared in our life in the person of Jesus. So Jesus is the second person of the Holy Trinity who became a human being and who lets us meet God face to face. So we believe in God and we believe that God has reached out to us in the person of Christ. And Jesus calls each of us into his family, which is the church, and he shares with us his Holy Spirit. So our patron, St. John Henry Newman, lived every day as a friend of Jesus and as a friend of others. And so we believe that God wants you to be happy, to be fulfilled and to be fully alive and to live your life responding to the goodness that God gives us and to share that goodness with others and to reach out to help others in their need. So we expect a lot from you in your study, your school life and your behaviour, but also we have a lot of fun at school and the friends you make here at school will last a lifetime. Within religious education, we look at three main skills that will help you in all study. We look at knowledge, so being informed of the truth, knowing what the reality is. There is the idea of understanding, of knowing why something is important, to know how different truths and realities fit together. And then also there is an emphasis on evaluation, weighing up different arguments, different points of view, different approaches to a topic or an issue, to be able to weigh up different ideas and to make your own judgment and come to your own conclusions that make sense and can be backed up. Within the subject, we'll be drawing on the teaching and the wisdom found in the written scriptures of the Bible. We'll also be looking at what the Pope and the bishops, known as the Magisterium, teach. And then we'll also be looking at the tradition of the church, as summarised and found over the last 2,000 years of history, leading back to the age of the apostles and Jesus. And we find that in the teachings of the church, such as the catechism and other church documents that form the tradition. So magisterium, tradition and scripture are the kind of the three pillars that form a stable foundation for us to do philosophy, theology and ethics. So a few things for you to think about as you start your secondary school. First of all, we want you to know that you are a work of art and a gift to the world from God. There is only one of you and no one can take your place. So please don't try to be like somebody to the point where you feel as though you can't be yourself. Our media is a powerful voice in our heart and mind that can sometimes feed us messages that we don't need to hear. So I would ask you to think about who do you look up to and who do you want to be like and why? We would encourage you not to confuse asking questions or not knowing 
with somehow having a label such as stupid or as no good. Have the confidence and the security in your own unique identity as a child of God to be able to say that you don't know something or to ask a question and to be curious, to find out. None of us knows everything. And it's okay to be quirky. It's okay to have different interests and hobbies. Dare to be you, to, to take your unique place in the community of the School of Newman. So, RE in September. In September, we'll start to study a bit about St. John Henry Newman and the patron saints that we've chosen to guide and to protect our new school. They all have something to teach us in our search for happiness and for fulfillment and for truth. And Mrs. Radcliffe has been putting together some work to help us to welcome you into our school community and to get to know a bit about the saints that surround us in our new home. So this week's learning task from me is as follows. I'd like you to find out three things that the Catholic Church teaches about God. I'd like you to find three facts about the life of St. John Henry Newman, our patron. And I'd like you to find three places that are connected with the life of St. John Henry Newman. And finally, I'd like to know what's your favourite pizza topping and what's your favourite form of chocolate? Because as you'll find out in our life together at Newman, those two issues of pizza toppings and chocolate are quite important. So, we look forward to welcoming you to our school in September. We'll be in a new building, which we're all very excited about. God bless you. Have a good summer. And we look forward to getting to know you and working together in September. Bye for now.